Now that we're a few days away from the actions of Steve Scalise and the members of the Republican Party that he fired upon, I think it's important to go back and reflect upon reflect upon what he did and reflect upon the way a lot of leftists reacted to this. Now, a lot of them have come f come forward and fully supported what he did. Now, in doing so, might I remind you that the FBI can see your Facebook page? I'm just saying. Now, I think it's also important for us to keep in mind that simple acts or shootings like this is not revolution nor is it revolutionary. Now, this is little more than an act of terrorism. Now, while I don't personally have that many tears for the Republican Party and the massive amount of people that they're going to be hurting with their cuts to necessary social programs, we have to understand that it is not leftist to just go out and commit shootings. Uh, this person was not a leftist. This person, uh, Scalise, was very much a Berniecrat. He was a liberal. He was a very rare example of a liberal with a gun and was willing to use it in this kind of a fashion. Uh, normally we don't see that. Normally the very right-wing individuals or very mentally ill individuals, depending on the difference between the two, that carry out acts like this. And it's very rare for someone of this political persuasion to do it. I really don't think it's something that should be championed. I wouldn't mourn over it. But I don't think it's something that we should support because a violent revolution is not running into a group of politicians and opening fire. Uh, this is a pol an act of political assassination, or attempted assassination, uh, and just a almost seemingly random act of political violence. Although it was not random, it, it seems very random in its nature. This is not the kind of thing that we should support. We would support an organized armed resistance against a bourgeois government if that was the kind of thing that you were into. I'm saying that's what socialists believe. I'm very good to differentiate between what this guy did and what socialists actually stand for. I'm not going to stand here and give you this complete garbage like Murdy Sanders did and talk about how violence is un-American. <laughs> violence is about the most American thing there could possibly be. And Senator Rand Paul tweeted out that the use that uh, the Second Amendment was specifically for overthrowing a tyrannical government and tweeted this right at the time that a Republican, uh, a bunch of Republicans were shot. And I remind that despite the outrage at what he was saying, that is what the Second Amendment is there for. So he is right. You may criticize his timing in putting that out, but he is right. That is what the Second Amendment is for. So I just wanted to clarify a, a, a few thoughts on this situation because I saw too many actual leftists celebrating this and saying that it's something that should happen more and saying that it's a proper action to take when it's it's really not. There is a big difference between armed resistance and what this guy did and that he should not be celebrated too much because after all he is not a leftist, he is just a liberal Bernie Krat. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.